Everybody, it's Steve Cook with Premier Guitar, and today I am holding the Schecter Diamond P. Classic, classic, classic design. You know, this, I don't want to get sexist right off the bat, but this is a man's bass. This is stout. This is, uh, this has a pretty, pretty substantial mass to it. The, uh, the body is alder, and a beautifully flamed alder, as you can see. And uh, it's 34 inch scale with a maple neck. Now, this has carbon fiber reinforcement inside here. Grover tuners, uh, vintage style, vintage inspired, I should say. And uh, of course, we've got the vintage dots. We've got the triple ply pit guard, black on white on black. And then a Wilkinson bridge, uh, which is pretty cool. And then let's flip this thing over real fast for you. You can see some more of that alder body. We've got it strung through the body, which is nice. 18 volt system in there. We've got a couple of nine volts stacked inside. Six bolt neck joint which this has been uh this has been redesigned for this model for Schecter and uh add stability and sustain of course over the four or the five or the three uh if you go back to the 70s and uh and so it's it's pretty stable again pretty stout pretty heavy but this is a really fun bass it's it's you know it's very much dare i say p i mean it is called a p uh but it it feels just like a supercharged p which is great and the supercharged part comes right here which is the uh under the hood we've got seymour duncan pickups we have the spb3 which is kind of their it's the third one in their line uh the one you know the number three is sort of higher output it's got a uh, it's got more punch to it uh than the other two and this is the smb4d humbucker and uh and again this is a punchy thing as well now what I like about this, straight out the bat, straight out, this is not Duncan designed. These are the actual pickups. If you were to go to, go to the store, Duncan site, and up your base, this is what you would buy. And so they have done that for you. So that that is a really nice feature because uh, they're just really really good pickups. Now this configuration is great, and you're saying, well, we we have punchy and punchy, so do we, is it just a punchy base all the way around? Well, it does have punch. I'm not gonna lie. And with the maple neck, it sort of adds to that punch. However. What they have done is they have, get a close up on this. This is, it's a push pull. It's a series in parallel. And what that will do is that will round out sort of the uh, the humbucker on this. So what it does is it takes off sort of the edge. Um, and so you pull this and then all of a sudden it's less mid rangey has, um, it, it takes mid range out and it will add a little bit of shimmer on it, but it doesn't have that mid range punch that the normal humbuckers do. So dare I say a more vintage tone. And you can of course use this series in parallel on all these configurations, but you're looking at this and saying, well, what do these knobs do? Well, let's talk about that real quick. So we have volume, that's cool. I'm gonna skip back here. We have, we have bass and we have treble. Right here, four way selector. And the four way selector will go from all P, two pickups, two pickups in series, and then the bridge pickup. So you can just get fat humbucker if you want, or you can just get P if you want. So you actually are getting a lot of bass for the money. So do I want a music man? Do I want a P? Do I want, you know, no, it's just, it's all sort of right here. Now let me scroll through these pickup selections so you can kind of get a feel for what this bass does. Mm -hmm. So let's start volume all the way up. We're gonna go position, technically position four, but that's position one. We're gonna go position four, which is all P bass. It's round, it's big, it's a P bass, which is great. Very, very nice. So then let's get to the two pickups in parallel, which is the way you would normally wire these things. And notice there's a little bit more punch. Pretty 
cool. Now, now see this is a little anticlimactic because what happens is when this is in uh, this is in position two, it's actually 30% hotter than in position three. So kind of went backwards and I apologize for that because now it's a little quieter. You're like, hey, that doesn't sound as good. It really does sound great, but the pickup, uh, like I said, the pickup configuration is such that the output is less on this setting. So, so you can hear the difference in those two pickups. And now let's go to the bridge mode. Just straight up humbucker. Um, so let's put that in. Parallel mode. Notice how it took away some of the punch and some of the, the clarity and the volume. But overall, this is a really responsive bass. The pickups are really responsive. And there are a lot of tones running around in here. I mean, we can go. You know, I mean, you can EQ these things to taste all day long, so we can. The Diamond P from Schechter. Check this out for yourself. Go to your local store and get your hands on one. They're pretty cool, very versatile instrument. I think you'll dig it. Speaking of digging things, go to premierguitar.com. Read those articles. They write them for a reason. It's pretty cool. And uh, go to our YouTube channel and subscribe to that because you get to watch this video again and all kinds of other great videos on rig rundowns, a lot of gear stuff, uh, basically gear porn for all of us to check out. And um, I hope you do. For Premier Guitar, premierguitar.com. This is Steve Cook. We'll see you soon. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.